Um, at first, I, I felt like it was my fault. And then as I was going through the journey, because it was a very spiritual journey for me, very spiritual. Um, and I wouldn't say that, so I have a, a relationship, I had a relationship with God, but it wasn't, wasn't what it is today. Um, but I learned a lot about faith and God and all of that through that journey. And so I would say that um, for me, it started out with shame and feeling like I did something. Like I, I, I did something in my past. I had an abortion when I was 16. So that was the first thing that came to mind, like this is my punishment. And with focal segmental glomerular sclerosis, a part of your skin, uh, a part of the nephrons in your kidneys, the filters in your kidneys become scarred. So I was like, that's what the scarring is. You know, like I had this uh. whole thing made up in my mind that this was punishment. Like this is, my, this is what I get for doing, making that decision at 16 years old. And so um, it started out that way. But then God was like, no, this is not that. This is something completely outside of that. And so then that was a whole nother transition. And, and I would say, you know, even a mind transformation of, okay, so it's not that. Well, what, where is this coming? What did I do? You know, I'm, I'm a 31-year-old mother, and I'm here with kidney disease, and, you know, my whole world is turned upside down. And so, you know, I thought I was in faith. But I really wasn't, like, mm. throughout the journey. And so I've evolved even in that way. Because to me, faith meant, because I'm a child of God, faith meant I'm going to be healed. Like, I'm not going on dialysis. You're going to heal me. I'm going to pray. I'm going to fast. I'm going to do all this stuff. And then I'm going to be healed. And God took me on a journey even through that, that what I thought was healing wasn't necessarily in line with his design because it, the Bible says you were healed. So he had already taken care of, the, care of the healing. Now how it shows up may not look like what I thought. So how it showed up for me was gonna look like, no, you're not going on dialysis, you're gonna be miraculously healed. And not to say that that can't happen, but that in my mind, that's what I thought. So everything was very spiritual and it, it was, a, it, 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 it wasn't until my mind transformed that God, how this is healing. Yeah. I am healed. And however this manifests itself, I'm, he I'm still healed regardless. And so that was a whole journey um, because I think when we think of healing, we're looking for something on the outside that looks like, you know, my legs just miraculously, Boom. you know, went down. <laughs> I can walk. Yes. <laughs> I'm off this medica medication. Like it's all these things that I thought in my mind. Um, but he, through this process, I saw how healing is not necessarily something that is tangible that you see right away, but it could be like my mind was renewed and healed throughout the journey. Mm. My whole perspective of me going into this, I started out in shame. Then I, I, I went through the grieving process. I tell everybody like, you, you're going to grieve it because life as you know it is going to change. So I, I grieved it went through all the, the, the shaming, the anger, all of that until I came to a place of acceptance. And I feel like when I came to the place of acceptance, that's when the real healing could begin. Mentally, emotionally, all of that. Um, and all, it, 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 was, it, was, it was in the hospital room that I got this revelation that you're already healed, Sharon. Like, it doesn't matter what else happens on the other side of this, it's already been taken care of. And basically, you're so consumed with you right now that you don't see the beauty in this process. And so everything was very spiritual in that way. So once I wrapped my mind around, like, yeah, I'm healed. Like, what is dialysis? Mm. You know, his name, dialysis. You know, that's, that's how he had to break it down to me. Like, you, you're, this, you're thinking about you. You're thinking about what it looks like. And so once I took hold of that revelation, I felt like, the healing could begin in me and the others around me because what I wanted to display was Christ at work in me, no matter wh whether I was on dialysis or transplant or whatever. 